Okay, so that was the solo from a song called Ridge Runner by my band Winchester. Um, a lot of you probably haven't heard it. One, because it's not out yet. And two, because not that many people know who we are. So, anyway, I wanted to teach the solo because I thought it was kind of a cool example of basically playing outside of the box a little bit. You know, it uh, changes keys about four times through the length of the solo. And uh, and does some neat stuff uh, outside of just playing pentatonic scales and things like that. So, first thing I wanna do is, I got another loop here going where it's a little slower. So, why don't I play it slow, and then we'll break it down. Okay, so now I'm just going to walk you through it bit by bit. Uh, so the tune starts, well, it's in the key of A, and the solo starts in A and then quickly moves to B. So first part of it, just over that kind of vibe, is this lick. Uh, just sliding four to five on the sixth string. to B from there. So the tune then goes from to this uh, B to E thing. So after this lick, so that's just sliding up here to the sixth fret of the fourth string. note in there. And then that bend there, it's a sixth fret of the third string. Then now a lot of this stuff you notice the right hand's doing a lot of uh, a lot too. So we're gonna uh, bend the seventh fret of the uh, second string. It's just so middle finger, you got your pick this here, and just alternating between the second string and the first string. Okay, so all that plays over that E9 chord. Now we're going down to A. So now what happens here is uh, there's like a A dominant uh, arpeggio, but uh, with some chromatic stuff going on in it. So we're just going to slide 11 to 12 on the fifth string, and then 11, 12, 13, 14, then 12 on the third string, and 12 on the second string, 14, 15. down so and then we're gonna slide back from 11 uh, sorry 
from 11 back to 12 on the fourth string once we get down there. So we're looking at. Again, a lot of uh, pick and middle finger. So now at that point in the song, so we've we've got we've played the A. So that would be over the D. Now it's just sliding down into basically just part of a D7 chord here, which we'd play up up there. So. So we're just spelling out these changes here, and that was kind of the whole the whole idea with the solo was to come up with these kind of changes and then try to build a solo around really accentuating those chord tones. So, um, so you're down here. Now from here, we're at G7 at that point in the song. So pretty standard little uh, double stop lick there, so this is slide into our major third, fourth fret of the third string, into the third fret of the first string, a little muted note there in the middle. Now this one I'm using pick, ring finger, middle finger. Now, so okay, so we're going back over to C now. So, we're, so once we're on the C, we're doing the same kind of thing. So if you imagine a G, and then if you did the same thing over C, you can go. Same type of thing. We're just kind of doing in a little different uh, rhythm, but uh, same same notes as they uh, pertain to the chord that they're over. So we yeah. have. All right, and now okay. So the next thing is this weird F. So it looks like we got a two here. And an E, so there's a seven. So it's a, yeah, it's a major nine. F major nine is the chord. Or something like that. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, okay, so uh, the lick over that is just this little kind of uh, open string vibe thing. So let's see. Uh, uh, in context, it's... Sorry, fourth string, third uh, fret, fourth string. Open zero two hammer on on the uh, third string. Then open to three on the first string. And just pull it all off. Five three zero. Then at that point we're on an E. So uh, let's let's roll back a little bit and get some context. So. All right, we're gonna go low E string, then top two strings. Okay, so that's. Um, I don't know why we decided to do that, but I just like, I like the sound of this weird doorbell lick at the end of it for some dumb reason. It, uh, I did it in, I think, the very first version of the solo, and we just really, like, that's gotta stay. It's a fun little button for the whole thing. So you play that doorbell over the E7, and then it's right back to A. So then, uh, Right, let the rhythm cut to just let the harmonic ring out. Rhythm guitar takes out. And we're back into the song. So that's it. Tabs are available. And uh, have fun with it.